talk about vagina health because, you know, we don't really talk about it. It's like, I asked somebody actually yesterday, I was like, how your vagina doing? And she was like, what? How you go ask me about my vagina? <laughs> now, this was really a close person in my reality. But I asked because we don't talk about it. And I know a lot of things about health and wellness. You know, I study herbs. I wrote a book about it. I've done research on it. I know about alkalinity and pH balances. And I create these products. So I was asking her, how's your vagina doing? And so we talked about it. And I was talking about soaps and stuff. And I said, you know what? It would be a great idea if I do this video tomorrow. And here I am. So I want to help you with creating a natural soap for your, your, um, your vagina to help the pH balance and help it stay healthy a lot of people in the physical reality don't understand that simply washing in their vagina region with soap and this is something you could pass on to your daughters too just simply washing with dove iris spring i don't care if you got it from whole food store they have so many toxic ingredients so much of lye inside of it which really irritates our vagina and knocks the ph balance off even when you do something as simply washing your um, self or wiping yourself after you use the restroom with certain toilet papers, especially like Charmin, the really thick ones, they have formaldehyde inside of the toilet paper. So these things knock us out of our pH balance when we're in swimming pools, even if we have sex more than one time a day with our partner because semen is slightly alkaline and the vagina is slightly acidic. So here we go. I ain't gonna make this video long because I got a bunch of conversations today. Here we go. This is what you could do to make your own soap. And you can leave this here in your shower area and it'll help to keep you pH balanced. It'll help with inflammation. It'll help with um, B B B can candida. You know how they have yeast, overgrowth of yeast in the abdominal cavity. And this is basically from dye though. Dye is really key, but your soap is really messing you up is what I'm trying to say here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get some coconut oil the best food for clear skin, uh, detoxing that gut, and then the, the skin will get clear. Detoxing that gut from pork, steaks, heavy starches like potatoes and things like that, pastas, that's the best thing first. Drinking a lot of water and then incorporating citrus fruits and vegetables, of course. So back to the video. You're gonna get some cold pressed, extra virgin coconut oil, right? You're going to get it and put it in a little container because you're going to want to put this container in your shower area, right? Then on my website, you don't have to purchase this from me, but you can, I'm just telling you that I have it available. There's a product called Be Fresh. Be Fresh is a natural deodorant, right? But it's only one ingredient. The ingredient is dehydrated key lime peel powder. So what you're going to do is you're going to get like a quarter size amount of the coconut oil. You're going to put it in the palm of your hand. Then you're going to get a pinch of the Be Fresh, which is only dehydrated key lime peel powder, and you're going to put it and mix it in the palm of your hand with the coconut oil. After you mix it really, really good, you're going to push it down to your two fingers, your index finger and your middle finger. You're going to put, push it down and you're going to use these two fingers while in the shower to clean your vagina area. I'm talking about the hood of it. I'm talking about your clitoris, the vulva area, right? You're going to clean that particular area with the coconut oil and dehydrated key lime peel powder. You're going to rinse it with water, preferably, preferably, um, spring water, like a bottle of water. You could bring a bottle of water in there and you rinse in your vagina. Notice I said to put this only on the clitoris, the hood of the vagina. I did not say insert it because you don't have to insert anything in the vagina because the vagina is self-cleaning. This is going to create a pulling effect. You know how um, they talk about oil pulling when you're washing, you're brushing your teeth or using coconut oil in your mouth? Well, it's going to create the same pulling effect in your vagina. It's going to draw out the yeast and fungus and, and parasites. Because by itself, coconut oil is anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antiviral, antifungal, fungal, and anti-parasitic, right? So it's taking care of any type of bacteria that's in it, but it's going to draw it out of your vagina by you merely putting it by the hood of the vagina, cleaning and rinsing it. You want to do this after you wash your butt because you you're going to use the soap to clean your butt. 
that's okay because it's not as sensitive as the vagina area so you clean your butt area your buttocks area first because you don't want to be rinsing with soap and some of the lather from the soap coming forward and getting into your vagina that way too right so you're going to clean the butt area first then clean the vagina area with the coconut oil and the key lime peel powder concoction that you put in your in the palm of your hand and then you're going to rinse it with some spring water and you are not going to put soap on it you could you could do this two times you could do it one time when you're cleaning out the inside of your vagina and then the second time when you're cleaning around your genital type area pelvic region type area you do not even want to put soap there you do not because the soap and all of the things that they use inside the soap the soap is penetrating inside of your vagina and you know we talk about we talk about this um uh, sodium hydroxide that they put in there known as lye and lye can be put in the it, it can be mixed with coconut oil because they'll have coconut hydroxide they'll they'll mix lye with any type of carrier oil but lye is the same ingredient that they use in oven cleaner to strip it so we don't want to put no lye up in our vagina no more we don't because we don't need to clean it with no oven cleaner we don't want to put we don't want to put the uh what they call that stuff Bragg's um apple cider vinegar we don't want to put apple cider vinegar in our vagina because apple cider vinegar will strip you it strips it takes everything out and so when you're taking everything out you need some bacteria in there you need a healthy environment for your for your body to be able to fight off the good versus bad everything has a balance we're talking about getting in it in the proper balance and not stripping it so if you have also pain associated with um, harmful periods you could check out another product on my website it's called bph balance now this here particular product when you put it on the hood the same process on the hood of the vagina it creates like a numbing type sensation as well so you could wash with the coconut oil and be fresh mix that you're putting in the palm of your hand and then after you get out of the shower you can put this uh, bph balance on the hood of the vagina that helps to clean out the blood that helps to help you with um inflammation and it creates a numbing sensation because it's helping you with the painful periods and cysts and fibroids and different things that we got in our body because we've been putting all kind of toxic chemicals on the largest organ of the body which is the skin and i wanted to share this with you all because when your vagina is out of balance it'll mess up your whole day you can have your legs can be getting to hurt your side can be getting to hurt you have painful periods you'll be bleeding because you're toxic that's what your body is telling you you'll be bleeding for weeks and months at a time because the toxicity level is so much that your body is creating an outlet to try to get some of the toxins out of you your back will begin to hurt and you don't understand why you could have a headache your heart can begin to beat really really fast because because if you're infected at the bottom it is traveling through your vagina your um your abdominal cavity and is creating a unhealthy balance so it is time that we really educate ourselves and this is really something inexpensive something really really simple and you don't have to fool with soap in the moon you don't have to waste your money on trying to find which particular soap gonna help your vagina ain't none ain't gonna be none you gotta go back to nature because the soap the process of making soap is not conducive of it being a healthy environment for the vagina i make soap i'm a creator of natural products i know and i've already researched every last soap before i even uh critiqued my product to get it to the place where it is i critiqued every last soap out there in the walmart of the world and even in the whole food store of the world in the etches of the world and i concluded that there this this lie ingredient is the ingredient that was causing my skin at once upon a time to be red and inflamed and irritable you know we talk about having sensitive skin yeah your skin is tired that's what that means it is tired of you putting lie inside of it it is tired of you putting the soap on top of it that is highly alkaline when the skin natural environment is slightly acidic yeah it's tired just like those people that talk about yeah well i'm lactose intolerant 
No, your body, your digestive system never was tolerant of you consuming cow pus. You know, that was never the plan for your, your digestive system. So we really need to get back to the basics, back to nature, back to creating products at our home for our family, and back to educating one another. The women in your family, all the women in the family walking around with, 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 with vagina issues and nobody talking about it. Nobody saying, well, what you doing to yours to make yours a little bit better? I mean, you know, what kind of soap are you using? Or are you ditching the soap? How many um, yeast infections you had? Did the antibiotics cause your yeast infection? Or was it the soap that caused it? Or was it when you were swimming in the swim pool? Or were you having so much of sex that the semen did it? You know, we really got to get down to the nitty gritty of it all. And when you conclude it, it's, it's really the soap. Because that's the stuff that you use every day. It's really the infections that we constantly get in from the soap, the toilet tissue, the semen, and those swimming pools that we like to go swim in during the summertime. So take care of your body. That's the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to educate you on vagina health and to teach you how to take care of your body and talk to the other women in your, in your family that have issues with their body so they won't stumble upon the same problem and not know what to do. And you know, because when I remember, like it was yesterday, when I was in high school, they had this girl, I don't remember her name though, we was on a field trip, and everybody kept saying, you know what, something stink, every time this girl came around, and we all had been together on a field trip, and we concluded that it was this girl smelling like this, and it was her vagina that was smelling like this too, you know, she had maybe, I don't know, BV or something, and it, it, it reeks in the air. And it is so not necessary for us to be walking around when you could get something just as simple as this here and clean out your vagina every day. It is so not necessary for nobody to be walking around in physical reality because they don't know about a valid vagina, but yet they're having sex. But yet they're going to the bathroom. You know how you go to the bathroom after somebody else and you could smell the reek of their vagina because it's still left up in the, you know, the stall area where they was using the bathroom? Granted, even if they doing number two, you could still smell the fact that their 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 secretions, their their body has a stench to it, regardless. And we're not really supposed to think. Even our number two ain't even supposed to think. To be honest with you, if our diet is clean and not the problem, it starts to stink and it starts to you know begin in, to get inflamed when we are not taking care of our body, when our diet is not up to par, and when our pH balance is out of whack, and that smell is trying to tell you, your body is communicating to you, that smell is trying to tell you, hey, I'm out of balance. Hey, you need to balance me out. Hey, you need to chill with the thing that you're doing. But we think, oh, it's just, it's just that time of month, or I'm just going through, or I need to go to the Walgreens, and I need to stick this here little white cream inside of me. No, baby. No, no, no. You adding to the problem. Go to nature. Do something as simple as this here for your vagina so you can get in a healthy range and stay there. This this would be your natural soap. This is the, your cheap natural soap. And I won't say cheap, but inexpensive natural soap that you can use. And it's not going to expire on you. It's not going to give you an infection. It's going to help you. And it's going to soothe your inflammation. It also would help you if you have like... um. Um, issues with dryness, you know, it'll help to lubricate your vagina when you get a little older if you have that particular issue and you know how you try to do little nasty tricks and you want your little KY jelly, you don't need the KY jelly. You could use a concoction like this here to already lubricate yourself before you take a shower and you're going to be lubricated right after when you go to do the do. So you don't have to put all the KY jellies and stuff in all the little Extra, sometimes we be doing too much to the vagina and then you wonder why it's smelling and you wonder why it's hurting and why you wonder why you're cramping. Well, you did too many tricks with it. it it's, it's a virgin. Treat it like a virgin. And a proper thing for a virgin will be virgin coconut oil. Virgin, extra virgin coconut oil with some key lime peel powder mixed together to clean it. You remember that they had a little song. It was, it was, I don't know, I, I just remember the chorus, but it says something like, you put the, you put the lime in the coconut, it's a little Jamaican name or whatever, but coconut and lime <laughs> is a healer, whether you, you could even consume this, this is how, this is how delicate this is, you could consume this together in a tea, and it'll do the same thing in the lining of your gut, you can get 
rid of the cand candida overgrowth, the yeast overgrowth that's inside of your gut this way too. Somebody was just asking about skin. Well, you could incorporate these two things to help you clear your skin. Because your gut, your gut is where 80% of your immunity lie. You clean up the gut, you clean up everything in your body. And then you'll notice that your skin will begin to start popping and looking more youthful. You'll notice you begin to smell better. And especially if you're using this here as like a soap, you'll notice you begin to taste better. Your partner will begin to tell you that you taste good. You know how they say something about this so-called pineapple? I don't eat pineapple. I don't like how I feel on my tongue. But they'll say, consume the pineapple and then you'll start tasting like a pineapple for your partner. No, 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 no. If you have yeast and fungus and stuff, that pineapple not going to penetrate past all of that in your gut. <laughs> but if you wash in with this, you automatically going to smell delicious. You're going to automatically smell like a citrus fruit, right? And then if you consume it, like you can consume it in a tea. You can make like a key lime peel powder tea. Right, you put some of the powder in some hot water. You put a little bit of the solidified coconut oil because the water is hot. The coconut oil is going to melt inside of there. You mix it with some avocado, not avocado, some agave, which is a prebiotic. Now you got a prebiotic going in your gut. You got coconut oil going in your gut, which is anti-inflammatory to clear to clear out the inflammation from whatever you have that's sitting in the gut that won't pass. Sometimes we don't even use the bathroom and we wonder why our vagina is out of balance too because we're not properly digesting our food. Our large and small intestines have got clogged up. So being that this here is an oil, it's going to lubricate the inside lining of the, the stomach. <laughs> it's going to give you your amino acid. It's going to kill It's going to kill those viruses, something that the doctors don't even give you a prescription to do because viruses have, viruses have a lipid coating around them that only coconut oil can get past through the barrier on it. So once the coconut oil gets to the barrier, the lipid coating of the virus, then whatever type of virus that was inside of that lipid coating, it's going to be destroyed. It's going to explode, right? And then the oil is going to catch it and grab it and coat it and allow it to pass going down your lower and small intestine and allow your bowel movement to once flow again. So you will have that in your cup, your agave, which is a prebiotic, which is beneficial bacteria, and then you have key lime. Key lime is very alkaline. Key lime is going to um, help you with that lactic acid build up inside you. It's going to provide your body with magnesium and other minerals that it needs inside of it. So you can either drink it if you're a man listening to me right now, or if you're a woman, it is the perfect thing that you could use to clean your vagina with. It's vagina health. We're talking about vaginas today. <laughs> let me see. Let me go back up in, in here and look at these comments right quick. Hey, Perfect. Thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah. I love to share my knowledge. Yeah, I do. I do. Instead of just sitting on it. Hey, hey, brown sugar. Yeah, this Palacio. Exactly. So these are some tips that I wanted to was in that container. Oh, you must have came late. What? I just came on here. Yeah, I missed it. Inside of the container is coconut oil. Extra virgin, unrefined, cold pressed coconut oil. And I was sharing with the people that came earlier and for my YouTube channel that this is something that you could put in your shower when you're going to take a bath. And you can purchase Be Fresh, which is dehydrated key lime peel powder. And I was saying that you mix the two and you put them on the your index and middle finger and you clean the hood of your vagina, your clitoris area with it. And it's going to do an oil pulling process and allow the opening of your vagina to secrete any type of bacteria, fungus, infection. And it's going to be in a proper pH balance and you can dish your soap is pretty much what I was saying. These two are very powerful in itself. And I just wanted to share because it's simple and it's easy, but we make it so hard. There are a lot of people that are sitting up there every night, getting in the tub, getting in the shower, and they want to smell like this, this, this citrus breeze or whatever they, you know, see on little soaps, you know, the dove. They want to be taken away and all of this here, smell like the Irish spring and all this and that and the third. How about you smell like yourself? Because yourself really don't stink if you clean it up. <laughs> especially your vagina maybe you could you maybe you could spray something on your clothes or on your underwear right there if you want to smell like something but don't put that all of that stuff in your vagina it is causing sickness and disease the vagina is so delicate and i thought this would be so perfect for you women and ladies to understand that you could just make it that simple and this here is when you combine both of them together now do not 
Do not put coconut oil by yourself on your vagina. Don't do it. When you, I'm telling you, and y'all got to learn how to um, follow directions from people too. I'm telling you this, together it's going to help you. Now you sit up there and you put coconut oil on your vagina by itself, then you did, you did just like the soap. Because coconut oil by itself is alkaline. Your vagina is slightly acidic. It's slightly acidic to be able to kill parasites and, and different bacteria that goes inside of it. Do not put it on by itself. I didn't say nothing about going get it by itself. Don't do that. And if you do that, don't tell nobody that I told you to do that. Because I did not. It has to be a proper pH balance. So if you're going to do the quarter size amount of the coconut oil, you have to add the pinch, just a small pinch of the key lime peel powder and mix it together to create the proper pH balance. It is about a proper pH balance which is slightly acidic and the key lime is going to buffer that high alkaline balance and bring it down and then after you buffer it by you mixing it together in the form of your hand and sliding it to your fingers to then wash now you created a very good environment for the vagina you've given it you've given it the information the the tools that it needed to do what it does best because it's a self-cleaning organism like right and so you ain't got to do nothing but put it right there and you should be cleaning that area only anyway right on the side of your right um underneath your uh clitoris area the side of of your lips so to speak and at the hood of the vagina that's it you should not be putting soap or in, inside of your vagina at all the soap shouldn't even be come no soap can y'all see? No soap should be going to, from this area to here. None. No soap. Just keep soap from that area. The soap could go on your butt to clean out your butt, but not in it, especially if you get waxed all the time. Because now you don't even have no hair right there in that area to capture some of this soap that has lye and that is highly alkaline. So you don't have hair on there, it's going to penetrate quicker. Then you're going to constantly be having yeast infections. You're going to constantly have bacteria vasodilation. You're going to constantly um, have candida or yeast overgrowth. Constantly have painful cramps and periods because you're doing it to yourself. Because knowledge is power and you don't have it in that area. So I'm trying to give it to you for free. <laughs> for free. If you have um, any more questions, ask them now before I leave. I got a couple of consultations I got to get to. And I wanted to watch my little bird for a little bit <laughs> before I just start to relax myself. Let's see exactly. Hi, Queen. Hey, Monique. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, AZ, baby. <laughs> hey, Roxy. I just ordered the powder so, it's, powder, so it's all right. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Carter. I appreciate the support. Thank you for sharing. No problem, Roxy. Hey, Molly Mall. Does it help with yeast? Oh, mucus. I think you saw it. Does it help with um, mucus too? Yeah, well, keep in mind, it does. So keep in mind, we do have natural mucus in our body, you know, mucus membranes. Sometimes we just have an overgrowth of the mucus, right? So yes, it does. Whether you're doing this internally or externally, you drink it, you make a tea like with it and add some agave with it. Oh yeah, you're going to know that it helps with mucus because you're going to start using the bathroom and your, your bathroom is not... You know, your number two sections is not going to be strained at all because it's going to create an environment where it's lubricating everything and it's grabbing toxins. It's grabbing the extra mucus. It's grabbing the fungus, right? And it's in, it's replenishing the gut area with the prebiotic that comes from the agave that you're going to use inside of it to sweeten it. So, yeah, it's going to help you with the mucus. It's going to help you. You're going to feel if you're really inflamed if you after, while you're taking it. If you're really inflamed, sit still, and you could actually feel like the inflammation subsiding in whatever area of your body it is. If you just pay attention, so if you have like, you know, bronchitis type issues or whatever. Oh, thank you for the heart, though. So pretty. If you have like bronchitis or whatever, you feel like your chest, like it's almost like a shower that's being a shower head on top of your chest. You know, if you have some type of inflammation in your vagina, if you're using it, you know, as a soap. Then you're going to feel like, you know, your pelvic region almost like, mm, almost kind of like a little orgasm now. <laughs> you're going to feel it as the oil is pulling out those things. If you have like, 
you know how some people get like the I think they call it the vertigo, the inner ear infection or whatever. If they have that type of infection, they'll feel their ear draining or whatever you have your issue, that's where you're gonna feel the inflammation subsiding and the mucus being drained out of that particular area. And then you get the energy. Then you get clairvoyancy. Then you get, you know, because this is providing your body also with all of the amino acids you need. This is also, this coconut oil and key lime, it also helps to activate your third eye. Now, <laughs> this is why I do research in these things. So now you have this, 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 this amino acid, the building block of your muscles. You got muscle strength and endurance. You're activating your pineal gland. You're alkalizing the inside of your body while also keeping your outside of your body in a proper pH value. And you winning. You winning. That goes my alarm for my um, consultation. I got to wrap this up. Um, she just ordered a powder. I just got that. Um, does it help with mucus? I said that. What's the measurements? I, I said a quarter size amount of the coconut oil. Because you don't need much, but it's just for the hood of your vagina. And a pinch, a pinch of the key lime peel powder. Key lime peel powder. So when I'm saying the pinch here, I'm going I'm to post, I don't want to open that. That's a new product right there that I pulled off of stock. But when I say, this is salt though. But when I say a pinch, I'm talking like this here. This here. This is what I call a pinch. This here. This is a pinch. That's it. A pinch. That's it. And that's proper pH balance right there. I've already mentioned that before. Because I do this, actually. This is what I use. So I'm giving y'all my little secret. <laughs> so you only need a pinch of the um, key lime peel powder to the quarter size amount of um, of the coconut oil. And you. I'm not talking about a mountain. I'm talking about a flat little quarter size amount in the palm of your hand of the extra version. Don't get no cheap coconut oil either. Get the unrefined cold press extra version coconut oil to do this with none of the cheap stuff not from the dollar store no nothing from the dollar store in your vagina uh-uh mm -mm. don't do that to yourself <laughs> okay you are so welcome miss price pie you're so welcome you're so welcome what are you making vegan built i was making it's actually like a, a soap consistency kind of like because you got to realize before all these soaps with these lies that started knocking out everybody, pH balance. What do you think they had then? They had oils. That's how people were bathing with oils. It was nothing but oils. But then soaps came along with all the lather and you know the foam and it made people feel like, oh, I'm being skinny, I'm getting really squeaky clean. What was happening is the soaps were created to strip everything off of the body. But the oils always had the antibacterial, antifungus antimicrobial properties in them and that's why some of the soaps still today even though they put in the lies and they put in the suds in there they still got to go to the oil and they still got to put the oil in there because they know that if they want this here to work they gotta they gotta replenish your body with oils from stripping it out with lye and they also know that these oils are going to support the antibacterial properties that they are trying to get you to believe in with their little propaganda or marketing strategies that they lie and all that, that other stuff and that the Irish and citrus spring fragrance is the thing that's really helping you. It's really the oils, baby. It's really nature. Nature was always your healer. We just went and fell far from it. But that's the natural healer. And share that with, you know, some of the women in your family, you know, so the knowledge can grow. And so we won't be revisiting the doctor and giving all our money away from the doctor. You know, when we go to the doctor, they'd be quick to and ready to cut something off. You know, well, let me just take one of these ovaries out of here. Let me just give you a hysterectomy. You keep coming back here for this BV. Well, let's just take it all out. You know, that's, that's the kind of thing that they study. Look, you don't need this here. I was just talking to somebody that was doing work on my house yesterday, and the lady was just telling me, she was like, yeah, I was thinking about getting my tonsils removed. And the lady don't know me. She's a stranger to me. And I was like, well, why would you do that? Are they bothering you? She's like, no. Well, I was reading that there's some organs on the body that we just don't need. You know, they just there. And they ain't doing nothing, so I, I read that the tonsils is one of them. And so I'm going to just tell them to, you know, take them out. Because that way, if I get sick, then my sickness is not going to last that long because I don't have no tonsils, tonsils no more. I said, you just going to tell them to take them out. I was like, maybe you should read about that a little bit more. 
You want to just be, you know, you need to create your body to just take stuff out. <laughs> Why you put it in there, God, if you just gonna take it out? But sometimes some of the things, and I didn't judge the lady or nothing. I just listened to the lady. I was like, well, maybe you should read a little bit more about it and do what you feel is best to you. But at the same time, I'm saying to myself, I, I think you, I think your tonsils is, is necessary, baby. I think if you don't have no problems with them. I think you need to just ride with them and learn how to maybe eat better, you know, maybe, maybe avoid getting sick because we're not supposed to be getting sick, y'all. We're not supposed to be having painful periods. We're not supposed to be eating flames. No, that's when we at our lower self. That's when we, we, we despising order and instruction like the biblical text says, you know, a fool despises order and instruction. Okay. So, um. What is the best place to get the quality ingredients? Well, actually, they sell it at Walmart. They sell real coconut oil at Walmart. But it's over there by the the cooking stuff. You know, the... Um, the on right? So you could go to Walmart. You can go to a uh, whole food store. You can go to Amazon. Um, Amazon to get you some real good coconut oil. Amazon is a really good spot. You you want you probably gonna identify it by being in a glass bottle too. That's the indicator. The ones that's in the plastic bottles normally they be tricking you, and if you're not paying attention, it'll be refined coconut oil. Like at um what they call that show Costco's and Sam's, they sell the refi refined coconut oil a lot in a big old plastic bottle. But you want unrefined. You want unrefined. You want cold pressed, and you want extra virgin. If it have those three things, that's the perfect one. And nine times out of ten, if it have those three things, it's in a glass bottle and it's going to be the most expensive one. But treat yourself. You deserve it. And then you get you a little container and you keep it in your in your shower and you keep it clean. And you don't, you don't double dip in here, you know, because you're going to be using this on your day day. You dip with your clean hand in here that one time and then you put your seal back on in. And don't share it with other people and all of that. It'll be yours. And you might want to get a little smaller, your little Tupperware thing up in there. And it'll be your reminder that this is your soap on your vagina with your um with your key lime peel powder. And you do this, and you're gonna be good, baby. You could be good. You could be good. You're gonna never be wishing somebody would. Hello, and thank you. Hi, uh, Orinda. Are you from New Orleans? Yeah, we can do from New Orleans. I'm in Arizona now. Oh, the measurement when you ingest it? Now, it's different when you ingest it. That's a good question, Molly Mo. It's different when you ingest it because um, you can ingest more of it. Like, when I make my teas... Wait, let me see somebody message me here. One second. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry about that. So, when I make my teas or whatever, like, I, I put, like, maybe a spoon of coconut oil in my cup, right? But if I want some more tea, then I'm putting another spoon, like, of the coconut oil in the, in the new cup, like, right? Because you can't overdo it internally. You can't overdo it internally. I'm saying this small amount because this here is a pH balance amount when you're doing it in the vagina. And because you don't want an overflow of the coconut oil to go down, you know, on your shower floor. Because being that it's already in a solidified form, you could actually clog up your drain if it gets caught in the drain and now you have an issues in the drain because you don't you you want to make sure that you um lubricate it and make it more like a liquid you want the folds of the vagina to heat it up and it turns into a liquid right there versus you having all kind of clumps and stuff i just don't want you to use a lot in the shower but you can't overdo this here through your mouth no because um if you have a real bad candida issue, like some people have like leaky gut syndrome, they, I would tell them to take like about three um, tablespoons of the coconut oil and some key lime peel powder in turn because they have more that they fighting against. They probably have a big blockage, so I would tell them to take more. So internally, I would say one tablespoon, um, Still do to one pinch of the key lime peel powder. You could do up to two pinches of the key lime peel powder internally in a cup of um, boiling hot water. And also, if you're drinking it internally to clean out your gut, I would say being that you're using key lime peel powder, that you would use a straw too. Because key lime peel powder is slightly acidic. And if you 
put too much tequila until powder inside of the cup, then the drink is going to be acidic. And if you're drinking it often, acidic things can tear the enamel off of your teeth and you don't want to have issues with cavities in your teeth or whatever, right? So what happens is the, the coconut oil, being that it's alkaline, it's going to consume some of the um, acidic tea that's in there and kind of like buffer it. But if you're doing it a lot of times, use a straw is all I'm saying because key limes are acidic by themselves. So use a straw just in case. Yeah. I try to make everything natural. Yeah, vegan though, that's what we gotta do. Yeah, yeah, beer oil. Okay, yeah, I sell those type of things. Oh, thank you, Molly Mo. And my brother, I, I think I told you this. My brother, um, his name is Mo, Molly Mo. <laughs> you remind me of him every time I see your name. But yeah, I sell those things too, beard oils and body oils and more, yeah. Let's see, what kind of mess? Oh, I don't know what that's all about. Uh-oh. Three year plan. Why do you not borrow your cream? Oh, oh, because I don't make this here, um, you know, a habit. Some days I don't even come over here. <laughs> unrefined, yes, unrefined, and I'm introvert, so, and I'm not trying to manifest that, and yeah, I'll probably run away or delete the video when I do go viral. <laughs> Okay, what do you mix with the coconut oil? It's, it's my product called Be Fresh. It's actually listed on my website as a natural deodorant, but the ingredient in it is actually key lime peel powder. It's dehydrated key lime peel powder, nothing else in it. So you could use that, or you could make your own key lime peel if that's what you want to do. Or you could squeeze your own key lime juices if that's what you want to do. But I have it on my um, website, and because it's an organic product, you can put it on your body or in your body. It's interchangeable. And those are the type of things that we should be using, you know, to take care of, to take better care of ourselves. If you can't put it in your mouth and eat it, why are you putting it in your vagina? Why are you putting it underneath your armpit where a gang of lip noise or how's that? You know, what you put on you penetrates inside of you. So it's time that we start thinking a little bit wiser about the things that we're getting, those commercial products that's destroying us, you know, that's causing lumps underneath our armpit, you know, that's causing our vagina to be out of that balance. And so that's why I really wanted to share that with you all today. This is my first time here. Hey, Jasmine, welcome, welcome. Oh, you're from no New Orleans East. Oh, okay, I used to work um yeah, New Orleans East, off of down the road. Yeah, that's beautiful, vegan. Love the accent. Oh, hey, radio. Thank you, thank you. If I have key lime and coconut at home, what is the ratio to mix with juice? Um, if you have key limes, I would say one tablespoon of the coconut oil in your cup of, um, I don't know how much you're trying to make. If you're trying to make a cup, I would say in your cup to a half of um, a key lime, a half a squeezed key lime. Because you don't need a lot of key lime at all. Even if you are making, let's say a gallon, because I do key lime um, aid all the time. If you're making like a gallon, that's what I normally do. I'll get about six key limes. And remember, key limes are the smaller limes. I'll get six key limes and squeeze six of them and put them in a gallon jar of water with um, my agave. And even with that in mind, I'm only putting like two tablespoons of coconut oil. But when I do my gallon, being that it's going in the refrigerator, I don't use the hard solidified um, coconut oil. I use liquid coconut oil when I'm doing that. Because if I, I use this one here, this here, liquid coconut oil. Because keep in mind, I'm putting it in a refrigerator for it to be a limeade. And if I put it, this here in the refrigerator, it's going to solidify, solidify again because the refrigerator is cold. And so it's going to be hard chunks at the top. So if you're making something that you're putting in the refrigerator, you're going to have to purchase a liquid coconut oil instead. But if you're making something that's going to be hot, like a tea, like I was saying, then you're going to use the, so the solid uh, coconut oil because it's going to melt from the heat of the tea. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Let's see. All right, I'm about to get a body. Love the accent. Um, thank you. You are so welcome, Jasmine. Oh, Natchez, Mississippi. Hey. Yeah. 
Miss, it's Beppe. Love and all just trade. No problem, babe. Key lines are alkaline. Yes, they are. But see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. They're very aesthetic in your mouth. See, this is one thing I want to educate some people because they get confused about that. They're very aesthetic in your mouth. So a minute earlier, I was saying use a straw because we don't want to take the enamel off of the teeth. Like, right? They're aesthetic and they should be aesthetic to kill all of this heat stuff that's going on up in the esophagus, you know, to to clean up the gut. But when they get in the gut, our body is impotent intelligence, y'all. When it gets in our stomach, it buffers. It buffers and it turns it into an alkaline substance, an alkaline ash. And so that alkaline ash is what's going to help clean out your gut and your large and small intestines. But in your mouth, in your mouth, key lime is aesthetic. It just transforms. <laughs> That's how you know you're dealing with something that, that, that nature did, uh, created instead of something that man made did out there with them GMOs and stuff. It, it's just cool like that. That's why I love key lime so much. I want to make the order. Yeah, this is um, beef rice that I'm talking about, the key lime. This is deodorant, and this is all that I use. Key lime, pill powder, natural deodorant. Don't need nothing else. Fresh out the shower when your underarms are still moist. Put some of this here powder underneath your armpit, and you're good. You got your magnesium, which really is the thing that helps you stop the odors. And you got your aesthetic range for your skin underneath your armpit because it's slightly aesthetic. It's going to clean out that lymphatic system right there because you have a gang of lip noise right there. It's simple. It's natural. Nothing else added. You could use it as a tea, you could use it as a urine, and you can use it also when you're making your soap, your soap that I just explained to you about right here. It's so universal, key lime deal powder. So universal. You're so welcome, baby. Yes, the key lines are. They really are. What um where are you from? I'm from the West Bank. Um, that's exactly what I do. Beautiful. I can't wait till mine come. Oh yeah, thanks. I appreciate you. A pinch underneath the arm here too, yeah. And um, it's a small pinch, and you get this little bitty um powder puff that I put on top of it. And because you only have a pinch, using this underneath your armpit, and you're good. You're good. You're good. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. Everybody I know, I, even my neighbors, everybody I know it. Yeah. So and it works. It works. Look at the reviews. Yeah. It's simple, easy. And now you don't have to worry about no baking soda, which is alkaline, which is highly alkaline. So most of the soap, I mean, the deodorants out there, they have baking soda in them, which is highly alkaline. And that's okay because maybe they knew how to make it go to aesthetic range. But if they didn't, if they didn't make that pH balance, now you have people that's wearing deodorant that's still smelling, that's, that's secreting more sweat because maybe the deodorant is caking up and, you know, clogging up their pores and stuff. You know, so it's just, you just got to know who you're dealing with, what you're dealing with, with these ingredients. And you got to know how to tweak it. It has to be so pers precise. If not, it'll knock you off. So those deodorants out there, they have um, baking soda, which I don't suggest underneath the arm no more i done been through all of that it causes rashes and stuff and even too much of coconut oil underneath your armpit it can clog up your pores if you put in too much that's why i was saying when you're doing it on your vagina just put a quarter size amount but if you just slogging all kind of things to lock in the moisture your vagina um, to lock in the sweat your um, armpit is supposed to be able to secrete and sweat it shouldn't be clogged up not with baking soda not with a whole bunch of stuff key lime peel powder is, is a powder it's so simple it's so natural it's gonna do everything that your deodorant did and even more because it's helping your lymphatic system clear out it's helping you get rid of lactic acid buildup it's delivering magnesium throughout the body and magnesium is needed to every organ in the body too so anyway, I can go on and on. This is something that I really, you're welcome. Thanks for sharing the help. You're welcome. I'm about to order mine. Thank you. I appreciate all of you. I can go on and on because this is really my passion. This is what I love to do. But I can't go on and on because I have consultations. I do that too. And you know, later, I'm going to come on a little bit later because I'm going to start doing some live consultations for free. If any of you all are interested in that, um, on my website, I charge for consultations or being a mentor to other people. But I want to start, you know, I guess 
showing what I do or talking about because I can't talk about what those people that I've consulted with share with me because I'm comp you know because it's conf confidential but if it's live and they're willing to do it for free you'll be able to hear me how I speak to people how I, how I interpret dreams how I help people change their mindset to draw the things that they're wanting through the law of assumption to them just creating the reality because we can be do or have anything we, I mean do you want it the question is just do you want it like I, I everything that I have right now is what I want everything that I do in my life is that is the thing that I'm happy about doing and, and I don't go against that current I don't create resistance I don't you don't even see me out here doing ads and trying to promote businesses because I, I just allow you know things and people to come to me and naturally flow to me because I'm not I'm not that loud person I'm the one in the back that's using my mind that's using my mental my subconscious to draw things to me and so I think life is just beautiful that way and, and I'm getting everything that I want. I'm thankful for you all being here and listening to me and ordering from me every day. When I get up every day and create and make my orders, it's the perfect amount of orders. It's the perfect day for me. It's the perfect people. And, and I'm already in a bundle of mindset. I, I already have everything that I want. My, my, main, my main thing, to be honest with you, in this physical reality, my main thing for accomplishment feeling to me was just early retirement. And I'm early retiring and I get to do every day with my day what I want to do. And so I've arrived. I'm in my heaven. I'm in my happily ever after. <laughs> and I want you all to get there and be there and stay there. It's a state of mind. It's a state of bliss. It's a state of being that happens inside of you. As within, so without. And so I could only give you what I have inside of me. And all that I have inside of me is consciousness. It's love for people, it's wisdom and knowledge and understanding, it's being an herbalist, you know, it's being funny sometimes, it's, it's laughing and just, just enjoying my day. It's watching hummingbirds, it's peace. That's all I have to give you and that's all I'm going to give you. This video was from my heart to yours, baby. You be blessed. Bye. <laughs>